Hi everyone, Kevin here. Today I wanna to show you how you can convert a JPEG to a PDF. I'll show you how to do it on both the PC using an app that comes with Windows 10 and on your mobile device, whether you have an iPhone or an Android phone. Now PDF is by far one of the most popular file formats, but sometimes getting content into that file format is a lot harder than it needs to be. I'll show you step by step how you can do it. It's pretty easy. We're gonna start with the PC and then we'll jump on the phone. All right, let's jump on the PC. Here I am on my Windows 10 PC. If you don't have Windows 10, did you know you can upgrade to Windows 10 for free from Windows 7 or Windows 8? I've included a link in the description. To convert a JPEG to a PDF or even multiple JPEGs to a PDF, we're gonna use an app that comes pre-installed with Windows 10 called the Photos app. To get to the Photos app, let's go down to our taskbar and in the search field, type in Photos. You should see a best match appear for the Photos app. Let's click on that. This opens up the Photos app and you can see that I already have a whole bunch of photos in the Photos app. You might already see the photos that you wanna convert into a PDF in the Photos app, but if you don't see them here, don't worry, we can very easily get them into the Photos app. To import them into the Photos app, up in the top right-hand corner, you can click on Import, and you can choose whether you wanna bring them in from a USB device or from a folder. I'm gonna click on Folder. This opens up the Windows File Picker and you can navigate to where you have your JPEGs on your computer. Like I said before, I already have my pictures in the Photos app, so for now I'm gonna click on Cancel. Once you have all of your photos within the Photos app, it's extremely easy to convert them into a PDF. Now, for this demonstration, I'm gonna convert a few photos into a PDF, but keep in mind that you could do one photo or you could do many photos. I'm gonna select a few of these photos from a recent trip to the Olympic National Park in Washington State. I've selected a few photos of the outdoors. I've also selected a picture of me and my son and then a picture of my son in a rocking chair. And now I wanna take these four photos and I wanna convert them into a PDF. How do we do that? Well, once you have your different files selected, go up to the top bar and you'll see a printer icon. Let's click on this. Alternatively, you can also click on Control P. This opens up a print dialog and up in the top left hand corner you can select your printer. Now typically you'd select a physical printer that you want to print a document on, but you can also select to print an item to PDF. In fact, in any application in Windows 10, when you go to print, you can choose to print it as a PDF. Now I want to print these four pictures to a PDF, so I'm going to select Microsoft Print to PDF. You can go through and you can modify these various settings to determine how your printout looks, but I'm good with all these default settings. Next, let's click on the button down below that says print. Once I click on print, this opens up the save print output dialog, and now I need to choose a location on my PC where I wanna save my PDF. I'm gonna place my PDF on my desktop, and now I need to give it a file name. I'm gonna call my PDF Olympic National Park Photos and then click on save. Here now on my desktop, I have a PDF file titled Olympic National Park Photos. Let's double click on this to see what it looks like. This opens up my PDF file viewer and here you see all of my photos are included in a PDF file. This is exactly what I wanted the output to look like. Let's jump on the phone now and see how we can do it there. Here I am on my iPhone. Once again, this will work whether you have an iPhone or an Android phone. We're gonna use an app called Office and first off, we need to get it. On an iPhone, we're gonna click into the App Store. If you're on an Android phone, click into the Play Store. Once the store opens, let's click to search for the Office app. On an iPhone, go to the bottom right hand corner and click on Search. Once Search opens up, let's type in Office up above. Once you type in Office, let's click on Search. Once you search for Office, you should see the best match appear for Microsoft Office. If you don't have this app yet, you can either install or get it. I already have it, so I'm gonna click on Open. Once the Office app opens, you'll land on the home screen. To convert a JPEG to a PDF, we wanna go to the bottom right-hand corner of the app and click on Actions. 
This opens up all the different actions that you can take with the Office app. It's an extremely rich app and you can do a lot above and beyond just converting a JPEG to a PDF. For instance, some of my favorite uses of the Office app, you can convert an image to text. So you take a picture of a document, you take a picture of a sign, and it'll convert it into text that you can edit. There are also a whole bunch of things that you could do with PDF files. Not only take pictures to PDF, you could sign a PDF, you could scan to a PDF, you can even convert a document to a PDF. Today though, we simply want to convert a JPEG to a PDF, so I'm going to click on pictures to PDF. This opens up my camera roll and I have all the same pictures that I had on my desktop. I use OneDrive to sync all of my files between my phone and my PC. I'm going to select the same files that I selected on the PC and then we're going to convert this into a PDF. I've selected my four files, and once I select all the files, let's click on this icon in the bottom right hand corner. This now brings me to the next screen where I can customize what all of my images look like. Up here in the top right hand corner, I have the option to crop, I could rotate the image, I could even add text, and I can annotate. I like the way it looks for now, so I'm not going to select any of those, but you do have that option. Down below, I can even click on filters and apply different filters to my photos if I'd like to spruce up how they look, or maybe I'm feeling black and white right now and I'd like to go with that look. Right now I'm good so I'm going to click up in the top left hand corner to go back. Down in the bottom left hand corner I can also add additional photos to my PDF if for whatever reason I forgot to select one of them up front. Otherwise once you're ready to go simply click on done. Now I can see my PDF file coming together. I see my four photos that I selected. Up in the top right hand corner, I can annotate it if I want to, but for now I'm good to go. Down in the bottom right hand corner, there's the option to share my PDF. I'm going to click on this. This opens up a share control and here I can type in a name for my PDF. I can also choose where I want to save it. I could just put it onto my OneDrive account and then I could access it on my PC or I could share a link with someone. I also have the option to keep a local copy on my phone and once I'm done with all of these I can upload it to my OneDrive. Let's say that you don't use OneDrive or for whatever reason you don't want to save it to OneDrive. You can also send a copy. When you click on this you can send it to email, you could send it to WhatsApp, wherever you want to share a PDF. It's extremely easy to do here and then you have your PDF ready to go. All right, that was a quick look at how you could convert a JPEG to a PDF file on both your PC and on your phone. If you now know how to do it, please give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if you want to see me cover any other topics in the future, leave a comment down below and I'll add it to my list of videos to create. All right, well, that's all I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.